Hello and welcome to Surgery Topic Ascending Cholangitis. Let's start off with a few questions. What is the most comp common composition of gallstones? Gallstones are small stones that form in the gallbladder. The answer is cholesterol. Cholesterol gallstones can be due to too much cholesterol in your diet or if your gallbladder cannot empty pro properly. Which of these is a gram-negative bacteria? In ascending cholangitis, it is mostly gram-negative bacteria that causes infection. The answer is Klebsiella pneumonia. In ascending cholangitis, it is mostly gram-negative bacteria that cause infections. So it is important to differentiate between gram-positive and negative bacteria. Which one of these is not a risk factor for gallstones? The answer is male. The four Fs are female, fat, 40, and fetus. Some of the topics we'll be talking about are what is ascending cholangitis, symptoms and history, investigations, differential diagnosis, management and surgery, and some OSCE tips. Ascending cholangitis, also known as acute cholangitis or just cholangitis, it's a combination of bilifer biliary flow obstruction and biliary inflection. It can quickly become an acute septic, life-threatening infection, and if not treated, septic shock, vascular collapse, multi-organ failure, and death can occur. The most common causes are cholelithiasis, benign or malignant strictures. Obstruction is in the biliary, which then leads to stasis of biofluid and elevated intraluminal pressure, Bacterial colonization of biliary, and this can be indicated by fever, right upper quadrant pain. And the infection tends to flow in a retrograde direction up the CBD and eventually past the stone, infecting the static bile too. This causes widespread infection as it allows the infection to spread via the bloodstream and can cause septic shock. This will be indicated by jaundice, hypertension, and altered mental status. Some of the causes, obstruction, can be caused by gallstones, ERCP, iatrogenic, stricture from cancer, and rarely pancreatitis, primary sclerosis and cholangitis, and parasitic infections. Some of the bugs that can cause it are E. coli, Klebsiella species, and Enterococcus. Some of the symptoms and clinical ex examination. Charcot's triad is 85% sensitive for cholangitis, and it consists of three things. Fever, ripe out per quadrant pain, and jaundice. Reynolds Pentad includes Charcot's triad, but in addition there's two more, which are hypertension and altered mental status. In the history, the presenting complaint will be right upper quadrant pain or epigastric pain, fever, jaundice, rigors, confusion and hypertension. Past medical history, gallstones, recent biliary tract investigation and previous cholangitis. For the medication, oral contraceptive pill or fibrates. In their social history, they may have a lipid-rich diet. In the review of systems, the putty clay colored stools. Some of the investigations that you'd like to do are FBCs to see for neutrophilic leukocytosis, CRP acute inflammation, LFTs raised ALP or raised bilirubin, blood cultures before antibiotic therapy to find out what type of bug you're dealing with, and ultrasound scan of biliary tract. This is an ERCP showing an obstruction in the biliary tree resulting in ascending cholangitis. There's a gold standard investigation and intervention as it is both diagnostic and therapeutic. Differential diagnosis include biliary colic, acute cholecystitis, peptic ulcer disease and acute pancreatitis and hepatic abscess. For your management or surgery, you want to start off with a broad spectrum IV antibiotics and IV fluids, such as comoxiclav and metronidazole.
but use your local hospital guidelines. For biliary decompression, it can be non-operative or surgical. Non-operative, an ERCP with or without sphincterectomy and placement of a drainage stent. For surgery, you can have the gallbladder removed or call a dichotomy with T-tube placement or laparoscopic cholecystectomy. Surgical removal of the gallbladder. If obstruction causes our gallstones, then this will reduce future risk. The benefits are it's less pain after surgery, shorter hospital stay, and easier to return to work and normal daily activities with minimal scars. The risks of it are bleeding, infection, and need for an open surgery if there's an unexpected inflammation, an injury to abdominal organs or bile ducts. For your OSCE tips, remember the Charcot's triad. Most likely presentation of cholangitis and easy to spot diagnose. Remember why you would do each investigation, what you're specifically looking for. And early management of IV flus and antibiotics is key. And remember, ask about medication allergies, especially for penicillin. Let's review now with a few questions. What is the most common obstructive cause of acute cholangitis? Gallstones. All of the options are causes, but gallstones are far, by far the most common cause. Which of the following is not true about ascending cholangitis? An MRCP is the gold standard intervention for ascending cholangitis. And which one of these is part of Charcot's triad? Jaundice. Hypertension and altered mental status above Charcot's triad is Reynolds Pantat. Thank you very much for listening to this presentation.